So Rockstar's website ended up going down again, and Grand Theft Auto 6 fans were once again hopeful that this would mean information about the title is coming soon. What's going on, guys? My name is Ross, or Mr. Boss for the win, and this would not be the first time in this week that the Rockstar Games website has gone down. Many players were getting met with alerts that looked like this, where essentially the site would not load at all, or it would just lead them to a black screen, and obviously, there's a lot of hype, a lot of speculation for GTA 6, especially since Rockstar's original announcement and posting back on February 4th that the game was in active development and it was well underway and that we would hear more information about them soon. Well, we obviously haven't heard any more information about it soon. And so really anything that Rockstar does, a lot of fans are saying this could be it. This could be the moment. This is when we are going to see info or details or a reveal or announcement about GTA 6 and the website went down on and off and nothing ended up happening which obviously got fans a little upset but it still is a little suspicious for sure I don't know if Rockstar are making behind the scenes changes or if they're trying to do some bug fixes or whatnot but again the website has gone down two or three times in the last week and that's not super common for Rockstar they've usually got things pretty buttoned up where you don't have a lot of errors and whatnot, but the fact that it keeps going down has a lot of people suspicious. I'm not sure if, again, it's changes that Rockstar are making, if they're under duress from like a DDoS attack or something along those lines. That I'm really not too sure, but just know that nothing has come about it. People have been digging into the code. They've been trying to do inspect element, see if they could find anything regarding GTA 6, nothing. Has come about it. Now, one thing I will say is also suspicious is just how quiet Rockstar has been on social media. Not only on their own site, on the Newswire, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Rockstar rarely posts anything anymore other than just like the Newswire links. In fact, they only put out, I think it was like four tweets in the month of June. They haven't really liked anything or interacted with really anyone. They seem suspiciously quiet, and their pinned tweet, which is something that always gets stuck at the top of your feed, it's usually for like important announcements and whatnot, is old information. It's talking about GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, which, yes, is new. But at the very bottom, it also mentions how GTA Online is available for free on PlayStation 5, which is no longer the case. That expired on June 15th. The Rockstar have still got this old information out there. They're not really talking about anything new. And I'm not the only one in the Rockstar Games community that seems to be, you know, wondering what's going on here. We got guys like Ben or Video Tech with nearly 60,000 followers who is a Rockstar Games enthusiast and covers news and tips and content on Rockstar Games. He ended up putting out this tweet just the other day. It said, man, what's up with Rockstar lately? I know I said it last week, but their social media pages have gone so quiet. No usual VP retweets recently, barely any likes on many posts. I wonder if they're gearing up to reveal stuff soon. So again, it seems like a lot of people in the community, not only myself, but others as well, have noticed that Rockstar have just been suspiciously quiet. So is this the calm before the storm? Is it something else? Is it just Rockstar being weird and frustrating like they normally are? I think only time is going to tell. But anyways, let's move on. And for this next part, it requires a little bit of a refresher. Do you guys remember this right here? It was a document that was passed around that basically came from Rockstar back in 2012. And essentially, it was the early notes on what was going to be for Grand Theft Auto 6. You can see Miami, what's new, small town GTA, tight stories, scheduled characters, ridiculous levels of ambiance, every home interior modeled, every building interval, more realism, if you're wanted, you're on the run for a while, Vegas, 1970s casino, somewhere snowy, Chicago, Detroit, and then Mexico City. And at the time, that was the next GTA game. A full production of 60 people plus 10 OS full production team. So at the time when that document was found, which was back in 2013, those were the potential sites for the next Grand Theft Auto game. And there was obviously a lot of new ones there. Mexico City, somewhere snowy like Chicago or Detroit. 
We've seen Vegas, but not in the 1970s. We've never really seen a small town GTA and Miami being Vice City. We're familiar with that before. Well, a senior manager at the Rockstar Games Research Department, someone actually found their LinkedIn page and it revealed some interesting information at the bottom where essentially they said they have conducted research and supported video games portraying the 1990s, the Old West, Las Vegas, 1970s, 1990s San Francisco, early 90s Los Angeles, and many more. And so a lot of people are seeing this and saying, okay, Las Vegas and the 1970s, does this indicate that Vegas and the 70s with the casino vibe is kind of what we're going to be getting for GTA 6. Now, when I first saw this, I was a little suspicious for two reasons. Number one, all the rumors so far, including leaked details, documents, and just reports that we've heard, have all indicated that the majority of the game, or at least a big part of it, is gonna be taking place in fictional Miami and its surrounding cities, which is Vice City. So that kind of threw things for a loop. But also, number two, just looking at the years that this individual has been working, at Rockstar from July 2003 to the present, which is 19 years, this could have been for other titles. I mean, if you think about it, the Old West, that could have obviously been for Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, 1990 San Francisco, early 90s Los Angeles. That would obviously be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Rockstar also has another game, The Warriors, which takes place in the 1970s. So it might not specifically be for Grand Theft Auto 6 taking place in Las Vegas and in the 1970s. Now, I do think that would be cool if we went back, whether it be a flashback or whether it be for a prologue Vegas in the 70s. I obviously think that would be incredible, but I don't know if this is a direct link to say, hey, the next Grand Theft Auto game is going to take place in Vegas and in the 1970s. Again, do I think that would be impressive? Absolutely, I do. But I don't think this one instance right here reveals that Vegas is going to be the setting of the next Grand Theft Auto title. We'll just really have to wait and see. Again, if I was still a betting man, I would say that we're going to be going back to Vice City in some way, shape, or form, or the majority of the game is going to be taking place there. But I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Where do you think Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to take place? Miami, Vice City... Vegas in the 1970s, somewhere completely different and off the rails like Mexico City or like a snowy Chicago. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there and about Rockstar's website suspiciously and continuously going down. Let me know what you think about that. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.